points P, Q, R, and S lie on the circle X squared plus Y squared equals 25. All right, so note this. Center equals 0, 0. Radius equals 5. And have integer coordinates. So, integer coordinates. We'll note that. The distance P, Q, and R, S, distances, are rational numbers. What is the greatest possible value of ratio P, Q over R, S? So, to get the greatest possible, we're going to have to maximize P, Q and minimize R, S. So, how can we do that? Well, first, let's draw out our circle. So, here's our circle. I'm going to say it has center O, and it has radius 5. So, there are exactly 12 points that are equally distanced, like a clock, that have integer coordinates in this in the circle. First of all are the obvious ones, like, for example, 5, 0, negative 5, 0, 0, 5, and negative, uh, did I just write negative 0? Zero, negative five. All right. And then comes these two. So we have, uh, how can I illustrate this? For example, we could have three comma four, which where could I put on here? This is three, yeah. Three comma four is probably somewhere around here. Maybe a little bit more in this direction. And then 4, 3 is about here. I know, doesn't look equally spaced. Don't tell anyone. Okay, and then you have the same things here. They aren't actually equally spaced like a clock. Uh, they make sort of rectangles if you connect them. So like here and here. So let's just write down all of these points. So this is going to be 4 comma, no, this is not 4. This would be, yeah, 4 comma negative 3 and then 3 comma negative 4 and then this would be negative 4 negative 3, and then negative 4, negative 3. And finally, these ones would happen to be negative 3, 4, and negative 4, 3. All right, so we noted all 12 points on this circle with integer coordinates. So the greatest possible value of ratio PQ to RS. So... The value that would be the longest for PQ would be something that's close to the diameter. Like for example, something stretching from negative four comma three to negative five comma zero, which is notably close to this diameter. Or another candidate could also be negative three, four, and three negative four. So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure the longest ones from a list of possible candidates. So of course we could have negative four comma three and five comma zero, first of all. So let's use a distance formula on that one. Um, X one plus X two Wait, no, that wasn't the distance formula. Uh, the distance formula is the square root of... Oh God, how am I forgetting this? Yeah, x2 minus x1. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I have the stupid. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. It's all square rooted. Okay, x2 is 5 x1 is negative 4, so that's 9, squared is 81, y2 is 0, y1 is 3, negative 3 squared is positive 9. So this gives us the square root of 90, which is high, 
sure. But it's not the highest we can go. So, let's check out some other options. Like, for example, negative 3, 4 to 3, negative. Now, we know that this is a diameter after figuring out its length is 10. So, we take the closest point to one end of the diameter and then draw it to the other end. That's simple. So now, let's calculate it. We have negative 4, 3 and 3, negative 4. We just square root it. x2 minus x1, that becomes 7. Squared is 49. 3. Uh, so we have y2, negative 4, minus y1, negative 3, squared is 7 squared, which is 49. And that becomes root 98, which is almost 100 a diameter, but not exactly. So, it's the highest thing we can get here. And square root of 98 is root 49 root 2, or 7 root 2. So that's the highest value for PQ. What about the lowest possible for RS? Well, the lowest possible would have to be a connection between two of these very close points. For example, 3, 4, and 4, 3. So we just do one of those really quickly. It's actually really easy to do these because the distances here are 1 and 1, 45, 45, 90 ratio, root 2. So that means RS's minimum length is root 2, making the ratio equivalent to 7. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for